Welcome back to 12 News at 4. It seems like we are constantly surrounded by technology at home, at work, even at the gym. And now wearable technology has really become the norm from Fitbits to medical trackers. The device is getting smaller and easier to use. But is there a downside to all of this? It is Feel Good Friday and Dr. Natasha Bouillon with One Medical is joining us live in studio to discuss the wearable technology and the pros and cons. So what are wearable health devices? Well, wearable devices give us real time feedback about our health and most people think about things like smartwatches and smartphones but it's actually expanding so now there's wearable jewelry rings bracelets even wearable clothing that has smart biosensors on it and I think the point is when people have wearable devices we want to make sure that they are able to actually wear them but also have another function and that's why now there's like glasses there's earbuds that play music but they can also check and monitor your blood and yeah so double down and have a dual purpose exactly so that way you actually put it on every single day. I knew the rings were starting to become more of a trend. I did not know about the um, belts. Yes, yeah, there's belts, there's patches, and these can monitor different things. So they can monitor your fitness, but all kinds of things. So lots of things that you can put on, um, right. just depending on your own preference. I feel like I would not want a wearable device around my belly yeah. area. That'd probably be the <laughs> last place. Yeah. Um, what can the wearable devices tell us about our health? I know there are a lot of specifics. Sure, and you know, most people actually use wearable devices to track their physical activity. So things like steps, things like calories burned. But on top of that, people are also able to track things like their overall health. We're truly seeing an evolution away from just physical health to overall health. Things like blood sugar, blood pressure, um, heart rate, heart variability, EKG monitoring. But the problem is the number one question I get from my patients is what do I do with all of this information? Correct. And that can be a little bit overwhelming too. Yeah. So what do you suggest for yes, your patients? Yes, exactly. People have sleep patterns, their blood sugar. What I tell people is to look at the patterns and bring it to your primary care doctor. Okay. We're able to synthesize the information and make an action plan that's personalized for you. So for example, I had a patient that was monitoring their blood sugar and they were noticing, you know, after they would eat, if they sat down and went into a work meeting, their blood sugar would actually spike. Really? But yeah, after they would eat, if they walked around the house, they would see a lowering of their blood sugar. Okay. And so we kind of made a plan of make sure that you don't schedule work meetings where you're sitting down right after lunch because it's better for your overall health to move after you to eat. keep going. Okay. And what about the impact of AI on the wearables. This is a huge area. So we are seeing so much with AI. Number one, AI can be really helpful with data synthesis, taking all that information and rather than having a doctor come up with an action plan, AI can come up with an action plan for us. We're also seeing this thing called tracking neural signals. This is fascinating, Rachel. It's this idea of actually using wearable health devices to track your brain activity and brain waves can start doing things. Like they've had early research of your brain waves can actually control a robot and that robot can cook meals or that robot can type. And so neural signals is kind of the next generation of wearable devices. Okay. And then on top of that, I think the really important thing with wearable devices is early disease detection. We've seen wearable devices that can actually look at people's movement and recognize Parkinson's before a doctor can. Which or is incredible. It's amazing. And even things like women's health. So we've got wearable devices that can track fertility right sure. now. But even when someone's pregnant, not just looking at maternal vital signs, but looking at fetal vital signs and being able to predict things like preterm birth. And so I think the next generation of wearable technology is actually predicting future disease. How about that? So if you are on the fence about maybe considering wearing one, I mean, that if, if it runs in your family or there's any sort of um, caution you want to take and maybe that's the answer. Yeah and it's not just for young people because we also know that a lot of young people use them but wearable devices can also detect things like fall detection for older adults so lots of uses for all kinds of ages. Keeping you safe and healthy along the way.